I think to a composer, uh, music is very much what you see. I think I've created an environment in this forest uh, that allows me to dream and to think. So I like to work in that state musically. I'm very happy in that dreamlike world. music every day there's a certain discipline to that and day to day the thing I try to do is not to look too far ahead and um, in that day if you have done your work you've expressed so many ideas you've done some orchestration you've worked on the film you've worked on the uh, cello concerto then you've accomplished what you've done that day and you're relaxed ready for the next day so what I always try to do is just chip away at it and you look back and there's just masses of music. There's so much of it, you know. The cello concerto I'm writing now, I'm basing it on gardens, gardens that I've loved and seen. But it's not so much a visualization, it's more a feeling, a, a realization, inner realization of what the piece is that you're writing to. You know, it's a very internal type of sight. It's a memory, really. With the concerto, you're literally just going uh, in such detail into the counterpoint. And the film music is a broader stroke. It's like different types of painting, really. And uh, you're using a different brush and you're expressing the ideas differently. It's kind of nice. It's like your mind is expanding on one and, and on the other one, you're going into this very small detail each day. It's almost like a way to cleanse the palate. and Tess are with me every day from morning till we go to sleep. And they're constant companions. And they move when I move and I'm aware of all of their movements and I appreciate greatly being able to coexist with them. The writing that I'm doing every day is really with them in the room and they just feel like they're part of me and they're inspiring me. And uh, I really think of them as my muse. The piano concerto, Rune in Memory, took a year to write. It was a lovely time. I mean, I would always have it open on my desk. Quite often, I'd be working on smaller, shorter pieces, but I'd always go back to the concerto. That piece is really a love affair with the piano. The intimacy, the tactile perception of that instrument was really interesting to me. Mostly everything I write is a learning process. I want to try something, express some idea. There's not a real comfortable nature to it. There has to be some struggle, I think, to create something of value. So there's always that searching inwards. As difficult as it is, it's a wonderful journey.